Well, winter's on its way, which means it's flat cap time. Not bad, eh? Oh, it's freezing cold today and very windy, but I fancy a walk round a different harbour, so I thought I'd go to Dunbar. Fancy joining me? Welcome to Rog Vlog. There's a lot of military history here in Dunbar. Just behind me is a 25 pound gun. Dunbar is about 30 miles east of Edinburgh in the county of East Lothian. Now I came in my car today, but if you want to get on the train, it only takes 30 minutes and it's a lovely little journey out. Today I thought I'd have a look at the fort, which is just there behind me, maybe have a wander along the high street and of course visit the harbour. So that's the fort built into the cliffside and I just love that archway in the bottom of the cliffside. I wonder whether they used to drag the prisoners in through there. Look at all these lobster baskets. This main harbour is Victoria Harbour, but at Dunbar, the harbour is split into various segments. There's this fabulous little bridge here, separating the main harbour with the smaller parts of the harbour just over there. I'm going to walk around the other side of the harbour now, back towards the fort, because I think it can get some better views if I go this way. Absolutely fabulous views from here at the harbour mouth along the East Lothian coastline. It's absolutely gorgeous today, despite the wind and despite the cold. I'm right up now on top of the harbour wall. Now, I have seen some video of this particular spot with the waves bashing against the side of the wall and spraying water high into the air. But today, despite the wind, it's as calm as a mill pond. Uh, 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 
This other ancient building at the other end of the harbour is called the Battery. And as you would expect, more guns. This time pointing out over the sea towards Bass Rock at North Berwick. Not really sure what these silver cubes are all about. And there are some wooden cubes as well. That's a great view over the smaller part of the harbour and the town of Dunbar beyond. This list of the boats that never made it to the safety of the harbour is quite sobering and quite touching. Well, after all that walking and that fresh air, I need to find myself somewhere for a coffee and maybe a spot of lunch. So let's go and see what we can find in the town centre. I love this statue of a couple of fishermen and I assume that's the fishwife, of one of them at least. And there's even a couple of stone cats. It's sculpted by Gardner Malloy and it's called the Creel Loaders. Now this part of East Lothian is in what we call tier two lockdown, which means that most things are actually allowed to be open, uh, but it's deserted. Hardly any of the shops or restaurants or cafes are open and there's very few people about. Finally found somewhere that was open, Hector's Pizza Restaurant. So I popped inside. Great ambience, but no other customers. So I settled down and enjoyed a mug of black Americano coffee. Mm. Mm. Great coffee. Checked out the menu and the Linton meatball pizza caught my eye. These meatballs are sourced from a local farm. And check out the pizza. I'm a bit weird. I never have cheese on my pizzas. Linton meatballs. Really enjoyed that pizza from Hector's. But I was the only person in the restaurant. My goodness. Hopefully it'll pick up soon. As I'm a train geek, I couldn't come to Dunbar without popping in and having a look at the station. Now, Dunbar is a small town, but their station is on the East Coast Main Line, and the London trains actually stop here. Not all of them, but some of them. So I'm hoping to get a glimpse of an Azuma or something like that. Amazing, I only had to wait about 30 seconds for a train to come through. I could have stayed there all afternoon, just train spotting, but I had to drag myself away. One more bracing walk. This time, I'm gonna go down onto the beach. What a beautiful afternoon. I've really enjoyed my little trip down here to Dunbar today. Do you know, it must be ooh, at least 10 years since I've been here and I'm not gonna leave it as long until next time. Hopefully get to come back once everything opens up again and the lockdown is once and truly over with. If you enjoyed this episode of Rog Vlog, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and I shall see you on the next video.